Hello everybody, Jeff again, and back with another episode of Minecraft, and what I'm doing today is, uh, I want to go get, I need some wool for one. I took a user suggestion, and gotta say, I, I must be doing something wrong, so I'm hoping you're watching this video right now, but basically I, oh, if you can't tell, I cleared out my spawner, um, uh, my temporary little spawner that I had going over here, because I flattened out that area of land, and the suggestion I had was to build something similar to what I had, but utilize glass to prevent mobs from spawning other than other than spiders. So basically what happens is, oh, you know what? I left a torch in here. That could partially have to do with why this isn't working. I didn't realize that. But basically what I had done at first was I had made this like a 2 by 2 floor like this. I know I know mobs don't spawn on the glass, so don't worry, that's not what I'm getting at here. But um and I had put the glass down and nothing was nothing was spawning in here um underneath or above. So what I did was I dug half of it out because it's only one block high right now, which is what I think spiders can spawn in. But other than that, it uh I can't get out of here now. Ugh how did I get up there in the first place? But, Jesus, where's my blocks? This is ridiculous. There we go. So, I dug this half of it over here down, as you can see. That's why there's cobble there. So I made it too deep to see if the spiders would spawn in there. And somehow there's something about this glass preventing anything else from spawning except for spiders. But that apparently didn't work because all that was back here was a creeper. So I filled it back in. I assume it has to be one tall and that's exactly what it is now is it's one tall and it could be a reason that it might not have spawned anything in here was because I had that torch there I didn't realize till I just walked in the door and what I've been doing is I leave and I close this off so it's dark in there and hope something spawns so I guess we'll come back and check that later and see if some spiders spawn underneath there um, since I had apparently screwed it up so hopefully it works if not tell me what I'm doing wrong with that idea I just want spiders to spawn I'll make it bigger if I can get spiders to actually spawn because I just need something to give me wool and wool is such a commodity on this server and then as far as I understand we have yet to find a a spider spawner I could be wrong I've been quite busy um, as always uh, busy just with life in general but what I'm doing is I used to have so many trees up here but I mined them all or I harvested them all I guess it would be but what I'm on the search for today is and I can't go past this lake is I'm on the search for both wood and for clay and the reasoning I'm on the search for clay is because I actually do need brick for a small spot in my fire station as I was describing earlier uh, for the for the 9-11 memorial that's going to require some brick. Oh, I don't want to use. Give me some of this. Did I just hear a spider? I wasn't really paying attention. There's some of this dirt. I have so much dirt back at home and I just did not bring any with me, but dirt is so much easier to use to climb to tear down when I'm done for tree climbing and things like that. Because I need wood. I need wood for the furnishings of my house. My house is completely unfurnished. I need to get some tables in there, some benches, things like that. So I think a lot of that's going to be done with wood. And I'm going to wait for this thing to die too, or I'll come back to it. I'm going to replant a bunch of trees. It looks like Endermen have torn up some of those trees over there. It's kind of weird. Just they take chunks of trees right from the middle, like it's nothing, like it's no big deal in the world of Minecraft. This thing is not dropping any tr any saplings yet. That's odd. Oh well, we will move on. So I don't know where there would be clay. I would be under the impression. That any clay I could get a hold of would probably be over here where I've been harvesting sand from. Oh, that looks like it's somebody's tree farm. I guess I could go harvest wood from huh, from our community farm, but I have not utilized the community stuff that much yet. Just uh, kind of sticking to my own little area for now. 
until I get myself all situated or until I can help out with the community. Unfortunately, I'm not so sure of exactly what which side which side of this river are we supposed to be on? Oh, that's a bridge. So I'm on the right side of this, but that's where we've been getting our sand and such from as you can see, but I don't see any clay around. Just kind of scoping out the horizon here. So video contest submission deadline should be should have been yesterday. Well, today's Monday. Should have been yesterday. Uh, I'm going to try to get all the submissions that are in into a nice into a nice seamless video. Don't know how easily I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm going to try uh, to get them into a video in the next day or two, so everybody can can see the submissions all in one one fell swoop. So hopefully that will be coming to you guys soon. If not, just go onto the videos themselves and uh, all the video responses to my contest and start rating on which ones you like. Anything that gets up before I start putting the uh, video montage together is still going to be accepted and entered. So don't think you're don't think you're done yet just because of the fact that I'm saying that you know the deadline technically has approached but until I get the montage together or until I make a video stating that I will not be doing a montage for whatever technical difficulties or what have you Ooh, look at that cow off in the distance so sad then the entries will still be counted so if you're working on something you better hurry up because the true deadline will actually happen at some point here. I'm trying to run through. I can't wait till 1.9 comes out. I want to get off this damn island. Hey, a sheep. What the heck? Multiple sheep. Bah. I need your wool. I want one of you to come back to my house. I want to trap a sheep for my very own. Me or sheep. Yes. Wool. I don't know whose land this is. Come back to five. Come on to station five. Ugh. Pushing the sheep. Hey, hey, not that way. Oh, you know, technically I can. I don't know why I would trap a naked sheep, but, uh. Oh no, got myself trapped. Hey, if he can if he can fall in this I can make him I can dig him over to my house. Maybe. Get up there. What are you doing? Get in there. Oof. Uh, uh. There we go. I don't know if I can really dig him to my house. But we're gonna we're gonna try. I have him in a spot. I will come back for you later, little fella. It's about to be night. I think I should go sleep. Because Mad Cow is on, and we didn't even say anything a minute ago, and I just jumped in my bed and was about to say in, and all of a sudden it was daytime. So I think we're on the same page with uh with what's going on. But as I was saying, I can't wait for 1.9 to come out, because that's when we finally get to leave and explore, and I can do more stuff, and hit some caves and check out the scenery and just uh, see, look at that. I think he's still on. Yeah, Mad Cow's still on. So we just must be on the same page or he somehow has his character always in bed, which would be very weird. Let me go check out this tree farm community here. We can kind of go by and see what else has been been done. Oh my god, is that house getting bigger? For the love of god. I think somebody might be compensating for something in real life. You know, but that's just me talking. Who, who really knows? Goose House seems to be coming along quite nicely. I mean, plenty of doors. Yes, yes. We we like doors. Usually with roofs, but you know what? Roofs, roofs are optional, I guess, nowadays. I'm going to need some food soon. Good thing I'm going to the community farm. And I'm running. 
So where is the tree farm over here? Mine, not the mine. There's a cow. Oh, he's a trapped cow. Somehow with an egg. What up, chicken? Oh, this is... Wait, is this B-double-O storage area? Did I come the wrong way? I don't recall it being over here. Eh, I can eat some rotting flesh. Poison does not affect me. But while I'm scoping around here looking for... Oh, there's the, there's the farm. I just had to go farther. While I'm scoping around here looking for stuff, I will uh, let you guys know that... Uh, well, not really let you know anything, but i just tell you about what's been going on with me so far. I will not dare to touch a sheep that has been taken by somebody else. Is this the tree farm? Okay. I know the rules of the tree farm are like replant what you take, but I don't know, do they want you to replant and bone? Because I, I think if I start taking from here, I don't think I can replant one of these. Do I have any bone meal on me? I don't have any bones on me. Um, I mean, let's, let's find out here. Because I don't even think this stuff will start breaking because it, uh, because it's connected to these other trees which means I need saplings so here's regular saplings so if I took a stack of saplings I still need bones because just putting the sapling down isn't gonna do anything bones 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 I think this is our lava bath area oh there's bones I'm only taking these. I know I'm taking them from the community, but I'm taking them in order to try to make sure I keep uh, I keep this thing proper. Let's see if this will work. I didn't think so. Nope. Um, so I'm really not sure. I guess I'll have to get clarification on on exactly what we're supposed to do with the community tree farm here because I'm not exactly sure what they want us to do when it comes to replanting it all because I'm not going to need to go through here obviously and get uh and get every single tree in here every time and then regrow them all I don't even know how you would do that I don't know I'm just confused but I do need wood and this is where you come get wood Huh. Come to the tree farm to get wood. But as I was going to say, um, this weekend I had, uh, oh wow. Not only did I have my fire class as normal on Saturday, we also had fire class on Sunday this week because of the, the makeup day from good old Hurricane Irene. And, uh, gotta say, two days in a row of that stuff is, uh, whew. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old. I mean, that's part of it, but. Man, am I, am I sore? My back hurts. My arms hurt. My legs hurt. I mean, it's just I'm trying to think of doing everything you do on a normal basis, then enhance that by like ten times because you're, you know, lifting, you know, a bunch of weight. You're dragging, you know, charged hose lines. You're running, you know, all these really, this really heavy equipment upstairs, and you know, doing all this stuff, and you know, throwing ladders and against the building, and the ladders ain't. ain't <laughs> they ain't light, um, but think of that, and then mix that with having 65 pounds worth of, you know, uh, an SCBA or a self-contained breathing apparatus on your back, and wow, is it, is it a little more brutal than I ever anticipated it could possibly be? But uh, but yeah, so it's <laughs> my out of shapedness mixed with mixed with everything else I mean it just yeah it's it's rough but I'm surviving you know I'm getting through so far we will see how things go uh, another trip to Kansas City I got planned for a couple weeks from now get to go 
back out to, is that a second layer tree farm? Like, what is going on? I'm not understanding the concept of our tree farm yet. Maybe I missed orientation. I don't know. But I guess while I'm here, what I do need is a crap ton of wheat. Oops, I can put back these things that are not mine. Like these. Uh, this, I can go put the bone meal over here since it doesn't work for what I needed it for. Wait, what did I just put back? Did I put the wrong thing in this chest? Oh, I put my shears in there. What was I thinking? <laughs> and I guess I will harvest some. I got no. This is the one for show, if I recall. Wasn't there one downstairs? Where's the downstairs area, though? No entry. Maybe it's through this no entry door. We're gonna find out. Actually, if I recall, I'm not supposed to get anything from it anyway. It's supposed to be a badge. I think badge is doing it all and putting things out there in, in the chest for us. I'm pretty sure. It's pretty cool though. I really like this uh, this concept. How much inventory room do I have? What can I combine here? Because I really want to do this. I think it gives you like... Oh, so tempted. I gotta see all this stuff. I got nothing else to do while we wait for the update. Oh, that must be where the water all comes out. I got nothing else to do before the update. I mean, I'm just kind of <laughs> checking everything out until I get my house all furnished. And unfortunately, it makes for uh, not the greatest video in the world. Is there a workbench over here somewhere? There it is. I'm going to make myself a temporary little chest because, yeah, despite the rules, I just... Uh, can't seem to follow him right now. And so instead I'll make you guys watch a boring video of me throwing stuff around. All my stuff. Because I want to see how much this fills up my inventory. So badge, if I'm not supposed to do this, sorry. But it's gonna it's gonna get done. Send card. That's pretty cool. Let's turn it on. Open the floodgates. Nice. That is a beautiful, beautiful concept of a wheat farm. I really do like this. Um, I know before, a lot of the reason that people never did things with uh, water and wheat is because you never got seeds out of it. But with the new... Um, I don't know since what update, but you seem to start getting seeds out of all your all your wheat farm endeavors when you do stuff with the with the water, which makes it easy to harvest. Um, I mean, it's the same to replant it all, but I mean, it's it's way easier to harvest, so it makes it it makes it really nice. I mean, I'd much rather hit some buttons and have some water come flying out as opposed to man, look at all this wheat. Man, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Don't worry, I'm holding shift. I will get this all replanted as I'm supposed to. I'll just take a couple stacks for myself and put the rest in the community pot. Wherever the community pot happens to be. I would assume up by the aesthetic wheat farm. I would assume. I could be wrong. So yeah, I mean, this is it. This is <laughs> en enjoyment, right? Um, I know B Double O and Good have to be preparing to go over to uh, to Minecon coming up pretty soon. Everybody's got to be pretty excited about that. I want them to. Uh, they probably don't know. I don't know if there's like an itinerary for for Minecon itself, but I, I'd like them to be able to put out a schedule of when they plan on being. 
like doing some live streams and things like that uh, while they're there because I want to see what I can work my schedule around to be able to you know be available for when their live streams happen to be able to either you know watch participate if it's something they're doing on like the Minecraft server itself um, or actually just be able to to watch it in general because I want to know what's going on out there because I think that's going to be a I think they're going to have a great time and be a great asset to the community out there and uh, it's I'm looking forward to the fact that they're going so it's pretty exciting times for everybody and I don't know if anybody else plans on going like if any of my you know people who view my channel are planning on going let me know I'd just be curious to see uh, what kind of what kind of faces we're gonna have out there if it goes from you know a lot of people who are just you know more into the you know really heavy into like making let's plays or part of the community or if there's just a lot of you know you know quote unquote you know, layman people who just enjoy the game who are, you know, going out there. Um, I'd really like to know what the what the split is is going to be out there because I think it's going to be good time for everybody. Look at all those Iggy's. So this is not the cart for or the place to put see, oh, that's probably seeds over here. Yeah, since I looked at it once, I should have known that. Man, look how fast this weed grows, too. See if I can get all my stuff out of here or not. I don't know how much inventory room I'm going to have left. I think I only have three extra spots now. Oh good, I still got a, I still got a spot to spare. So unfortunately guys, I have no idea what else to do with this video because this video really involves me needing to get... Oops, wrong way. Uh, involves me needing to get... Uh, wood, which I've done. I've gotten a decent amount of wood, and I need to get... How the hell did I get in here? And I need to get clay, and I need to get... How did I get in here? Was it back here? Oh, it was back here. And I need to get um wool. So, I've got the wool. Maybe I'll go try to get this sheep back to my house. If I succeed, I will show you guys. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time, hopefully with some more exciting things when I'm... Oh, no. I didn't realize it was nighttime. Um, is there a bed I can go sleep in? How did I get up here? Where am I at? Hopefully, Mad Cow is not upset. I didn't know it was nighttime. Maybe Mad Cow's really not online? He didn't say anything, did he? No, he didn't say anything. There's got to be a bed right around here somewhere. Is there a bed in the shop? Is there a bed on display in the shop? <laughs> that would be awesome. There is no bed in the shop. Well, anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, trust me, more exciting stuff is to come. Uh, don't let this episode get you down. I know it's full of nothingness, and... <coughs> Sorry, I just have to run back and see if he... Oh, he didn't leave me any, any string... No, I wasn't going for the experience orbs. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. And um, like I said, more excitement to come. And enjoy.